Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how to control Guitar Rig 6 in Ableton Live with the FCB1010 MIDI foot controller. Let's get started. To program the FCB1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. In order for the FCB1010 to control Guitar Rig 6 in Ableton Live, you must program the controller to send note messages. This can easily be done in the editor by first clicking on Bank 0 Pedal 1 and dragging to Bank 1 Pedal 10. Next click Enable and select Note. Note numbers should now be visible in the editor. Next click Increment. Note. Enter the number 1 in the text box and click OK. The note numbers will be in numerical order from 1 to 20. Now we will set up the expression pedals. With Bank 0 Pedal 1 to Bank 1 Pedal 10 still selected, click Enable Expression Pedal A. Repeat for Expression Pedal B. Next click Fix and select Expression Pedal A. Controller. Enter 7 in the text box and click OK. Now click Fix and select Expression Pedal B. Controller. Enter 11 in the text box and click OK. The editor is now set. The final step is to transmit the data to the FCB1010. Now that we have set up the FCB1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do the step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB1010 is ready. Now let's set up Ableton Live. Setting up the FCB1010 to control Guitar Rig 6 in Ableton Live is done in 7 easy steps. Step 1. Insert one MIDI and one audio track. For the tutorial, we will name the MIDI track FCB1010. Step 2. Insert Guitar Rig 6 into the audio track. Step 3. Select your MIDI device and MIDI from and the audio track in MIDI 2. You will see Guitar Rig 6 listed when you select the audio track. Step 4. Enable record on both tracks. Step 5. 
Click the macro button in the toolbar of Guitar Rig 6. You'll see the macro module displayed at the bottom. Right click on button 1 and click toggle knob slash button mode. You'll see the knob change to a button. Repeat the previous step for buttons 2 through 10. Step 6. MIDI learn each pedal on the FCB 1010 to the corresponding number on the module. Right click on button 1 and select learn MIDI control. Then step on pedal 1 on the FCB 1010 twice. You can now toggle button 1 on the macro module. Repeat the previous step for buttons 2 through 10. Step 7. The last thing there is left to do is to drag a button to a control in Guitar Rig 6. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.